The Microsoft Cloud Adoption Framework for Azure is a consolidation of best practices from Microsoft employees, customers and partners on how to deal with cloud adoption. My name is Sarah Lean and I'm a cloud advocate at Microsoft. And in this video, I want to highlight five things the Microsoft Cloud Adoption Framework can help you with. Number one, it can often be hard for IT staff to get buy-in from the senior leadership team for new projects and initiative. But the Cloud Adoption Framework has advice on how to engage with those key stakeholders and help build a business case for cloud usage within your environment. It can also help you understand how to pick the right project to start with. Number two. Once you've decided to deploy workloads into the cloud, it can be daunting to understand where to start. The Cloud Adoption Framework has a section that can help you get ready for that first workload. It can help you define the minimum viable product, landing zone, or base configuration that you need within Azure to run your workload on. Number three. The Cloud Adoption Framework can help you understand how to govern your cloud environment. Now, that doesn't mean restricting people from using it or putting blockers in place for innovation. It really means helping to avoid mistakes or accidental deployments. Now, all organizations have to deal with budgetary constraints. So one example of governing your cloud environment is stopping your employees from accidentally deploying a workload that could cost your organization thousands of pounds or dollars or whatever currency a day. So the cloud adoption framework can help you define those governance strategies and suggest the technologies you can help to implement them with. Number four. Managing workloads in the cloud can mean leveraging new technologies, using new processes, updating documentation, and teaching your staff and wider organization new support workflows. The Cloud Adoption Framework has some best practices on how to deal with this and how you can deliver slick ongoing IT operations. Number five. The Cloud Adoption Framework also has guidance and advice on how to architecturally design workloads for the cloud so that solution de development can be accelerated and completed in a best practice way. The Cloud Adoption Framework is a collaborative document, so if you have anything you'd like to share or even correct within it, you can. It's open source. All you have to do is create a pull request within GitHub to contribute to the framework, or if you want to raise an issue for the team to address, raise a GitHub issue. No matter where you are on your cloud adoption journey, the cloud adoption framework has something to help you. So don't delay, take a look today. <music>